Alright guys, welcome back into another NBA DFS video. We're going to be going over the court plays for today's slate. Should be a pretty good one. We already got news that Chris Paul was ruled out, which helps James Harden as a play. We saw what he did while James Harden, or while Chris Paul was out, he was averaging well over 70 DK points per game. I do think we can expect more of the same uh, tonight uh, with this matchup against Utah. So if you want to roll with him, you can. I really like D'Angelo Russell tonight in two games against the Orlando Magic. He's won forward 50 DK points in each of those games. Now if he doesn't get there, that's going to be because um, he wasn't playing that well, and that means that Shabazz Napier would be the option to go with. So, And, you know, Shabazz Napier has played well in this matchup before. Uh, in this first game against them, uh, when Spencer Dinwiddie was out, he only saw 18 minutes, but he had 27 DK points. So rolling with D'Angelo Russell and Spencer Dinwiddie, maybe if you want to stack them both, it's really not a bad option. But I do like D'Angelo Russell on the slate, and I do like uh, Shabazz Napier. Shabazz Napier has kind of been my ride or die for a little bit. I like Monte Morris uh, tonight, especially now that Derrick Rose is in. Uh, Derrick Rose doesn't play the best defense, so Monte Morris should be able to take advantage of that matchup. You've seen he's went for over 40 DK points each of the last two games. Really like Rage on Rondo. Primetime Rondo. Uh, we know he plays better in primetime games uh, in the last game against Golden State. He only saw 23 minutes, but he had 38 DK points. I do think if that game stays close, you should at least see 40 DK points tonight. He's one of my favorite point guard options on this slate. All right, let's get into the shooting guard options now. Devin Booker is going to be a decent option for us. Uh, he just went for 57 DK points in his last game. But the key here is the matchup. It's a pace-up spot, and the Atlanta Hawks just aren't that good at defense against shooting guards. They're one of the worst teams in the league against them. So you can play Devin Booker. You should get at least 50 DK points tonight. The shooting guard I like the most is going to be Bradley Beal. As you can see there, he just went for 57 DK points against Milwaukee Bucks the last time that they played. And it's just going to be a safe and consistent 40 DK points at least, especially if that game stays close. You should at least be able to get to 50 DK points if that game stays close. He's my favorite shooting guard option on the slate. Now, I do like Malik Bleasley as well. Gary Harris was just ruled out, and they're still without Jamal Murray. Um, Malik Beasley should be able to at least get 25 uh, DK points tonight. But the key with him is that he had a really hot night shooting last night, and maybe we can just ride the hot hand and hope that that shot stays hot, and hopefully you can get to 35 DK points again tonight. Now, Williams is going to be a decent option. You see he's been getting uh, extra run each of the last two games, and he's had 31 and 41 DK points uh, those two nights. I think we can expect kind of more of the same. I don't know. The usage is going to be up, and he could definitely do that. Uh, the small forward that I like the most is going to be Luka Doncic. Now, DSJ was just traded, and we saw what Luka does when DSJ is off the court. He was averaging well over 45 DK points per game without Dennis Smith Jr., so I think he's going to be a lock for 45 DK points. He's been playing really good recently, averaging uh, 50 or 49 DK points in his last four games. So I think we can continue to ride the hot hand with him. Now, if you want to run it back with Sadie Osmond, he's just been shooting the ball a lot, which is why he's been doing better uh, DK-wise. So if he's going to continue to shoot it that much, I do think he's going to hit value for us. And he does have the upside to go for 45 DK points. This is a kind of a sneaky game stacking option. Both of these teams are not that good on defense. And it could be a little bit closer game than people expect. And it could be a high scoring game. Jonathan Isaac for the Orlando Magic. I really don't mind him as an option as well. He's been a, a DK point per minute play the whole year. As you can see in his last game against the Orlando Magic, he had uh, over 30 minutes, which equated to a over 30 DK points. So I do think if that game stays close, he should at least get 30 DK points again. Now Miller here for the Pelicans, I think he's going to be an okay option as well. He is still cheap for his recent production. He should be able to get 25 uh, DK points-ish. That's more of a game stacking option if you want to roll with that, you can. I do think it does make for a decent floor of at least 280 if you stack that game. All right, let's get into the power forward spot. Now, I do think you can play Giannis Antetokounmpo. I do think he'll score around 58 DK points. I do worry about that game blowing out. But if it stays close, he maybe can go for like 65 DK points. LeBron James, you can play as well. He, I, I don't like him as much as Giannis, so I'd rather play Giannis than LeBron. The power forward that is the most is going to be Thaddeus Young. Now, if this game stays close, which I'm projecting it to, he should get around 30 minutes. And in those games that he sees over 30 minutes, he's averaging well over 30 DK points per game. So it's just a matter of if this game is going to stay close, which I, I think it will, especially since the fact that Miami plays two bigs as well. That should mean some extra run for uh, Thaddeus Young. So I think it's going to be a strong play for us on tonight's slate. 
Um, let's go back into the power forwards here. Uh, I do think Bobby Ports is going to get a little bit extra run now that Jabari Parker's out. So maybe, you know, he gets three more minutes, which equates to a little bit better production form. Maxi Kleber and Dwight Powell, they both should hit value again tonight for you. I'm real worried that Kleber, you know, he didn't shoot the ball that much in his last game, so that kind of worried me. But I do think they'll both get around 20 DK points or so. It's just a matter of which one pops tonight. And I do think one of them are going to go for like 28 DK points. I put my money on Dwight Powell, which you can kind of roll with whichever one started. I'd rather drop it down and just go with Kevon Looney, who's just been dominating recently. You look at what he did against the Lakers the last time that they played. He only had 20 minutes, had 31 DK points. That's kind of been more of the same with him. So I think we can ex expect that same output for Kevon Looney. If more value doesn't open up, that's better on this site. I'm going to be rolling with Kevon Looney in a lot of my builds. All right, let's get into the centers here. Now, Jokic, whose usage has just been dominating with Jamal Murray and Gary Harris off the court. I think we can expect more of the same going against Towns tonight. He should be able to dominate. Speaking of someone that should be able to dominate, Rudy Gobert should be able to dominate tonight. Going against kind of Fareed, we've been attacking centers against the Rockets ever since kind of Fareed, or ever since Capella has been out. So, should be able to dominate. He should be able to get 45 DK points tonight. Maybe he has that little extra added incentive since he didn't make the All Star game. I really like Jalil Okafor on this slate. People might be scared off because of his last game. That was kind of a tough matchup, and you know now he's priced up a little bit, but he just went for 50 DK points in this matchup the last time that they played. Do you think he's going to be safe for 35 DK points tonight? And you know we just saw that he has that upside, so I kind of really like stacking that game, especially on the Pelican side. Um, the last thing that I want to touch on is going to be Measury. Now you can play him if you want to. It's just a matter of if he's going to start or not tonight. If he gets the start he should see around that 20 minute mark and he should be able to get around 20 dk points he's the best like low option before below 3.5k that i found value wise so far in the slate i will have to figure out you know the value options as they open up as the day goes on because it's a big slate it's an 11 game slate more values can open up as the day goes on so make sure to check the lineups uh you can check it out by uh, just donating to the patreon page in the link below also you can check out our daily content by clicking the link in the article below as well everything's in the description there but this is kind of the base build that i'm rolling with so far in today's slate hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching